<clears throat> Shalom, this is Gamali Allah, great most on Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai Bashim from Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that pushing out the truth and sincerity. All right, um, this quick lesson, and um, it's going to be entitled, uh, I may change it, but uh, it's going to be entitled, The Prophets Are Worn Out. Okay, and um, you know, every day that we have to live in this hell called Babylon, uh, AKA America, you know, um, it's difficult, man. You know, uh, we all go through different trials and tribulations. Um, you know, uh, everyone has, uh, something to complain about, you know, everyone that's in, involved in the truth and, and knowing, um, that they're Israelite, um yeah man that's it's it's tough man it gets tough sometimes you know we wear a lot of things on our shoulders uh, a lot of um you know like the saying goes you got the world on your shoulders that's literally how it you know will feel sometimes man you know nothing's going right you know what i'm saying um but two things uh well, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, cast your burdens on your Habashim Yal Shai and the fact that, you know, this is all chastening of the Lord, okay? You know, we are still enduring the... Cur yeah, we're still under the curses, man. You know, we're still under the curses. We're still in our captivity, all right? So you just got to remember, man, that... This is uh this was a collective punishment brought upon uh, uh our people, okay? And honestly, you know, none of us are although it is tough, you know, no none of us are having to pick cotton. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, there has been um worse times, worse moments, I'll say in our captivity. You know, and, and and then also, you know, there are things to be grateful for, you know, like I, I um, you know, when I talk to people that say they're going through things, you know, I tend to mention like, you know, remember the don't forget about the the little things that we take for granted, such as having clean water, having a place to stay, having a roof over your head. You know, having a car, if you have one, you know, reliable transportation, having hot water, you know, that's even something that uh, we tend to take for granted, having air conditioning, you know, these are things that we can take for granted. You know, living in America, you know, living in America where... Uh, and, you know, of course, there's brothers that, you know, live in other places, but the majority of the elect, elect does live in America. But, yeah, we do have a lot of, um, a lot of, how do I say, uh, things, you know, we are more a, little, a more fortunate uh, individuals than people in other parts of the world, all right? And so you got to keep those things into account. But nonetheless, it is hard. You know, nonetheless, it is a very tough walk that we're that we're on, man. It's Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark of upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, and it's tough, you know, witnessing these abominations, okay? Us being, uh, you know, wanting, attempting to walk in the path of righteousness. You know, we, uh, well, the scriptures tell you, um, love the good and hate evil, okay? And so... We hate evil, man. We 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 cry and we sigh 
for the abominations and the evil that goes on in America, man. You know, it, it is tough to be amongst this wicked society. You know, you got to see moles everywhere. You got to uh, deal with, you know, uh, rude, angry, so-called black women in in management positions or whatever positions they hold. You got to deal with uh, condescending Edomites, you know, that, that treat you uh, any old type of way, you know, talk try to talk to you any type of way and be a smart ass, you know. Uh, uh, and the list goes on, man, you know, the, but this is, <laughs> that's America, man, it's America. There's, it's full of people that are pieces of ish, full of people that are pieces of ish and that, you know, you know, it, it just gets tough, man. It gets tough, you know, paying bill, you know, drowning in debt. A lot of brothers are drowning in debt, you know, behind on uh, bills, credit messed up, can't get, you know, can't get approved for nothing. Um, what else? Uh, you know, your job, your job coming down hard on you, your, your baby mama drama, you know, and the list, the list goes on, man, the list goes on. So it's, it's not easy, but just remember that the Lord does have a reward for us. And also it's better to be of sorrow than to be of of cheer. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, well, you read Psalms, it's uh, Psalm 69 and 29. That's not what I wanted. I just saw it, but it says, But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O Yahweh, set me up on high. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're counting on. We're counting on Yahweh and his salvation to set us on up, set us on high. But we are poor and sorrowful, you know, and that's the spirit that the elect is going to be in, you know. Proverbs 14 and 13, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful and the end of that mirth is heaviness. Yeah, because it's tough, man, even when you have, you know, good moments where you can laugh, you know, it's still bitter, it's still a bitter uh predicament that we, that we're living in okay let me see uh ecclesiastes 7 and 2 it is better to go to the house of mourning than to the house of feasting for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart so, yeah, it's better to be in the house of mourning anyway, okay, because it says sorrow is better than laughter for the, by the sadness of the countenance of uh, the heart is made better. Yeah, so, you know, uh, it's really better to be sorrowful, you know, because, um, hey, Yahweh Shai can deal with, you know, a contrite spirit, man. You know, it's better to go into the house of mourning than than to go to the house of feasting. Okay. And we're in the house of mourning. We're in the house of mourning, man. But it, it's better because you're lowly, man. You know, we don't want to be comfortable in this society, man. We don't want to be living it up and being. Uh, 
you know, balling and, and, you know, being, um, you know, super, uh, uh, mirthful in this kingdom because we're not going to be ready to leave, man. You know, not going to be ready to leave. You, you're not going to want to, uh, cast your net and follow your house shot. You're going to want to basically continue in your particular op occupation. But there is a reward for those of us that stay down. This is uh, Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So there are sufferings of this present time. You know, there are going to be um, things that we'll have to endure. But the reward is way, 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 way greater. Okay. So it's important to keep that in mind is that the how about Shemel Shai has a has a heavy reward for us, man. James one and twelve, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, that which the Lord hath promised. To them that love them, that to them that love him, you know. So we got to endure temptation, man. Endure the flesh, okay. Fight this flesh. And one of the hardest battles of this walk is fighting that, fighting our flesh, okay. Fight, is ourselves, man. You Just like the saying goes, you're your own worst enemy, you know. And so, you know, those thoughts, man, those thoughts will, will really eat you alive, man, you know, you know, being, getting real caught up in your, uh, emotions and, you know, um, you know, going through, like, going through tough, trying hard situations, man, <laughs> it ain't easy, it's really not easy, you know, but it says when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to lift our heads up. You know, there is a hope a hope for us. We're not just doing this in vain. We're not just doing this for no type of reward. These people are catching hell. And these people are, think about this. These people are catching hell. And they're eventually going to get destroyed. So, you know, which is worse? Would you rather, you know, be, uh, uh, would you rather be, uh, have potentially have a reward for what you do? Or, or, you know, um, catch hell and be a two third? So, hey, man, you got to keep those things in mind, man. Keep those things in mind. Count your blessings. Pray fast. You know, and you can't just be down in the dumps. You know, you got to hold yourself together. Although you're going through things, hey, the scriptures talk about what you have Shai said. bearing your cross Luke 40, 14 and 27 and whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple okay so you gotta bear your cross you gotta you know a, as the scriptures say gird thy loins but yeah it gets tough you have your moments but you gotta shake it off and just push man just push through it you know and say fuck it man I, you gotta get to this finish line man no matter how tough it gets no matter how hard it hurts and and difficult the path uh may get you gotta push 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 man so you know that was it just a quick or exhortation exhortation lesson you know just wanted to um uh bring that out giving all praise honor glory to you how about shimel shai about shimel